Hi friends, good morning. So what's on my mind today? <laughs> Quite a few things actually. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. First of all, many of my videos have started with me having a sip out of my green cup. Life-changing thing happened. I dropped it. The green cup is no more. Ahi Jalisco, Mexico. Good morning. So let me tell you about the green cups. Um, it's one of the two things that I look for when I'm traveling in the United States and I go to a Goodwill or a Salvation Army or a junk store. And uh, it just gives you purpose when you're going to those places, which is something we like to do. And I never buy anything. You know, Lynn looks for clothes, a pair of pants, a blouse here and there. It's just a thing to do. It's not... Um, something we have to do financially <laughs> but what gives me purpose when i'm doing that is looking for the green cups over the years i've found four of them this one is no more the good news is the other three are in the motorhome but until i get back to the motorhome um, no more green cup in the morning. An editing note. You know, a lot of YouTubers are always apologizing about the wind noise in their videos. Do I need to apologize for the bird that thinks that he's part of the show? <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, what else is going on? Well, um, I still don't have my van back. And I'm feeling guilty that I've been promising you driving around town and not doing it. Um, but I don't have my van back. And my van is the one with the good um, uh, dash cam. So I'm still going to wait until I get the van back. I should get it this week. Uh, what? Why don't I have the van? Well, uh, it was getting hard to start. And then it didn't start at all. And so I called my mechanic here in Ahihik. His name is Carlos. And uh, used to be Pablo, but Pablo, Pablo's garage closed up and he and his family moved back to the States. Uh, anyway, uh, Carlos comes and um, I tell him what I think the problem is. It's either the um, uh, fuel pump in the in the gas tank, that's where they are in that Dodge van. Or it's a fuel pump relay. Um, and uh, Carlos, being the experienced mechanic, goes and he finds a brick. And he lays down in back of the van and says, try starting it. And he's banging on the gas tank. Boom, boom, boom. And it starts. So that's the definitive test for, yeah, it must be the um, uh, fuel pump inside the gas tank. So he takes the van. And in the meantime, he's called me back and said, hey, do you want me to do this and do that and do this? And he is. So when I get it back, it should be running good with new spark plugs and a new air filter and a new fuel pump. But... That's my long explanation for an excuse of why I'm not giving you a drive around town this week. We'll get to it. Have faith. In the meantime, uh, Juan's been doing some more projects here. Last winter when I was gone, I got a call that the uh, drain was plugged up for a small bathroom in uh, what used to be the casita, which is now part of the house, and it's the part where the laundry room is. 
there's a small bathroom in there that I don't really use as a bathroom. It's my bathroom number five. Um, the gardener comes in and uses it. But it was um, not working, wouldn't flush. And the tube that uh, the laundry drains into, the water came back out and flooded the um, laundry room. So we know that it's plugged up, but it's not news to me and it's not a surprise because it would be the third time that I have dug out in the yard to find the pipes, taken them apart and cleaned them out because the leaf cutter ants, or amigas, plug up the drain. Apparently they're living in the septic system. Anyway, um, we just drained, we, we, we took the toilet off and didn't use it. And um, the drain for the laundry, we just broke the pipe and let it drain out into the yard and water the grass. Anyway, um, here's the more permanent solution. I'm so lucky to have Juan to help me do these projects around here. And his family built my house, so there really isn't anything about Mexican houses that Juan doesn't know how to do. Fosa? Fosa. 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 Septic. It's the gray water thing for my uh, washing machine, my laundry room, and a sink in there. Uh, there was one, but let me think about this. That part of the building is an old adobe thing that was a cabin down here, like 70 years ago. So uh, the old one got filled up with ants. <laughs> the leaf cutter ants plugged up my drains. I've cleaned it out three times in the last two years and um, just decided to make a new one. Well, that's where the old toilet is and the fossa, the uh, well, there's the toilet. The also we're making much larger than the old one. The old one got filled up with ants and it's actually underneath this concrete pad here. So it's going to hook into the sh uh, laundry room. Go this way. Down into the new septic. That's how we do it. Well, we got the drain pipe uh, covered up and um, concrete over the laminate. Uh, we're going to let that concrete cure for a day and we'll put the dirt and the grass back on it and then all we need is a rainy season to get the grass green. Well, I probably don't need to tell you where I am now. The next part of the procedure for me getting a dental implant. They're doing a scan and the computer uh, maps my upper and lower jaw in order that the computer can design my tooth and make it bite correctly. It's been about 25 years since I had any dental work done in the United States, and uh, I'm sure that it's all very modern there as well. But I wanted to do this video for two reasons, and I did get permission from the dentist. This is Dental Express in Ajijic, Mexico. Reason number one is that I want to show you just how modern uh, dentistry here in Mexico is. Um, no, reason number two is uh, I'm 
pretty sure the cost is significantly different here in New Mexico. So I want to go over some of the costs of getting an implant here. So I'd like to share with you what I'm spending to get a dental implant here in Mexico. Last September, um, I had the initial procedure where they took out my old, they pulled out the roots of my old broken tooth and did whatever, the, whatever they have to do to put in the thing that it screws into and then you have to wait several months for bone to grow around that. And they assured me that it wouldn't be a problem if I waited longer. So I've come back even later than I anticipated and I had an appointment on May 6th and what happened then was they took an x-ray and they decided at that point, looking at the x-ray, that in fact I had grown too much bone and uh, they were going to have to call the oral surgeon to come and remove some of the new bone growth in order that the implant was going to be implanted properly. So I'm looking at my Capital One credit card uh, expenditures to share with you how much money that cost. So on May 6th, in that appointment, they took an x-ray. And uh, the total cost for the appointment and the x-ray, actually it was just paying for the x-ray, was $7.13. And then they had to call the oral surgeon. And on May 10th, uh, Dental Express Ahihik, the oral surgery to remove some of the bone uh, open up my gums, remove the bone. It was kind of scary, but it was painless. And then they had to close my gums up and put in two stitches. $112.69. And then I'm told to get some antibiotics and a pain reliever. Now, I never used the pain reliever, but I did buy it. And that and the antibiotic at a pharmacy next door, Farmacia San Andres, $14.77 for two meds, an antibiotic and a pain reliever. I went in um, a week after that and they removed stitches, no charge. Then uh, a week after that, which is what I'm showing you in this video, they're scanning my mouth. Um, and again, they're not charging me for that when they're doing it. And in the end, total cost for an implant is going to be around 1500 US dollars. And uh, I looked that up in the States, it's 5000 to 10000 for one tooth and Forty to eighty thousand dollars if you want a whole bunch of them done. One of the curious things I found was that scan that you're seeing in this video at a at a place in Seattle, <laughs> a dentist in Seattle that I found on the internet. That scan is a four hundred and fifty dollar procedure, and you can see how long it took. She did my upper jaw and now she's doing my lower jaw in order to give the computer the ability to engineer the bite. Mm -hmm. So that is, tell me what that is. That is the scanner. That's a picture of my lower jaw. A 3D scanner, uh -huh. Wow. Very open one more time. I always say I like my dentist because she is so petite she can get both hands in my mouth at the same time. She's screwing in a temporary until the computer makes my tooth overnight and I get the new tooth tomorrow. One more x-ray to make sure everything looks good. like me give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next please share me with your friends on social media thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today <laughs>